Hello, this is Richard Collins, your instructor in ATM 101, Weather and Climate of Alaska, here at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Welcome to Unit 4. In this unit, we'll be studying energy, heat, and temperature in the atmosphere. We will also, in your investigation, extend the scope of the measurements you made in Unit 3. In Unit 3, you made your local measurements on a daily basis through the week. This week, we will extend them in two ways. We will have you incorporate hourly weather data for last week in your study so that you can see how your daily measurements fit within the daily cycle of ongoing temperature change through the day and changes over the course of the week. We will also extend the scope of your measurements in terms of providing a regional context for the weather by looking at surface weather maps for the state of Alaska so that you can see that the weather changes that you saw at your site during the week are related to large-scale regional changes associated with weather systems. The goal is to give you experience in independent verification of your measurements, that your measurements are, are reasonable, as well as a deeper understanding of your measurements. We also hope that you will get experience accessing the web to look at some of the data that we present this week, um, surface maps, satellite data, and observations, and this will give you experience that you can use in your own life as you check the weather that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis. The reading for this week draws on Chapter 4 of the textbook Weather Studies and Chapter 2 of the textbook The Climate of Alaska. The subject of Chapter 4 of Weather Studies is energy, heat, and temperature in the atmosphere. The subject of Chapter 2 is temperature and humidity in Alaska. The concepts you deal with in the textbooks allow you to begin thinking like a climate scientist as you look at the balance of energy in the atmosphere and possible imbalances of energy in the atmosphere that cause temperature changes. In the lecture screencast for this week I highlight the key themes for the unit. You should watch it before you jump into the reading. The lecture also highlights the concepts that I think are most important for the quiz and I would remind you to leave the quiz until the last thing you do in the week so that you've done all your thinking and all your work and you're bringing that experience to the quiz and so you're maximizing your score in the quiz based on leaving it till you've done everything in the class during the week. If you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me or the teaching assistants. Thank you and good luck.